Ah, how wild. Ooh. Whoa, here, let me come over. Glad you guys could join me. Yes, we are in the camper van again. We're actually in downtown Seattle. Got a cooker with me. Got my squid fishing gear with me. We're gonna go out there and catch some squid. We're gonna come back here to the van and cook them. Now, while this video here is not gonna be like a full squid fishing 101 or anything, and I promise I will do a detailed how to catch squid video with the full gear and everything, but I just wanted to show you real quick just the basics so you have an idea of what I'm actually doing out there. So these things are called squid jigs. What this is, is it's just a little weighted jig uh, where you can tie off your line at the top and down at the bottom. Then uh, down here, you've got a bunch of little stainless uh, hooks, we'll call them. <laughs> Looks kind of barbaric, but uh, this is what uh, ends up catching the squid. So the squid, they come over and there's a couple theories on uh, why they latch onto these things. One is that they're trying to eat it. The other is that they're trying to mate with it, we'll call it. Oh, and by the way, one thing I just wanted to mention, like I know in my videos, I'm usually pretty ridiculous and stuff. Squid fishing is pretty tight out there, okay? It's going to be usually shoulder to shoulder. It's not that busy right now. I'm actually surprised, but there's still a lot of people. I'm not going to be that crazy out there. Whether you believe it or not, I'm actually kind of a like introverted, shy guy. Go figure, a fisherman, right? I'm, I'm not going to go totally crazy out there, okay? Just, just thought I'd let you know. We'll be a little quiet. It's going to be quite awkward fishing. Just kidding. Anyways, enough said. Let's go ahead and catch some squid. And we're off. So let's try and find a spot here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. All right. Oh, guys, we forgot our squid bucket at the car. It's okay, we only need a couple here. Another one. Man. There we go, guys. We got us a little squid. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Two for. Nice. All right, check it out. Look at that. We're going to have something to eat tonight. All right, now I got to see if we've got a little bag in our uh, backpack here because, of course, I forgot the bucket over at the car. Let's see what we got. All right, guys, we're going to have to get weird here. I don't have a bag. I think the law says that we need a container. So we're going to put the squid in a rubber glove. We're going to call that our container. We only need a couple squid here tonight for the catch and cook. So we're going to keep squid in the freaking glove. <laughs> Alright, we're going to set this glove uh, right over here. Yeah, that's a good start. We got five fingers, so we're going to get five squid tonight. Alright, so what I like to do to catch these squid is just cast out a little bit. Oftentimes just watch what the others are doing. Whoever's catching, they're probably doing something right. And just slowly let those jigs sink down. And then just give them little little pops upward every once in a while. And what you're looking for <laughs> is it'll feel kind of like you're touching the bottom. You know that feeling when you're you've got a weight on your line and you're lowering it and you can just feel it thump the bottom? What that is, well it's either the bottom if you're set too low. You don't want to actually fish right on the bottom. Always be off the bottom a little bit, that way you don't get snagged and lose your jigs. But also you'll know that that feeling of hitting something is a uh, it's a squid bite. Oh, there we go! Another little tiny, oh, tiny small. little squid. Look at that! And watch out when they come up. He's still full of water, so he's probably gonna squirt that water out any second here. See that water inside him? Ooh, look at that! He's holding on to the. He's not even hooked anymore. He's just holding on to that uh, that jig. How wild. That's 
the one you write home about. Yeah. Oh, from, oh, a top digger. <laughs> oh, we might have a little tiny one here. Oh, look at that. Nice. Little tiny squid on the, the pink jig. I don't know if you can see in the video here, but uh, they have these, their skin essentially, it looks like they can change their color. <laughs> we'll maybe try and get some close-up footage of that. It's really, really cool actually. They're, um, ah, it's their skin. They have these little cells that can essentially contract and expand. All right, guys, let's slow down a little bit. We're gonna just soak in the last uh, view of Seattle here. We're gonna go back to the van and cook these squid up. I'm getting hungry. You know what? It's fishing. It's not always catching. But three is okay. Better than nothing, right? <laughs> All right. We're gonna grab our little little glove here filled with squid. You gentlemen, have fun. <laughs> Take care. It's this uh, little glove here filled with squid. It's a new one. But you know what? Fisherman's got to do what a fisherman's got to do. All right, we are back to base camp. Let's uh, let's get these little squid uh, where they belong in the bucket, of course. Get some lights turned on in here. Jesus, so dark. All right, now we got our little bag of uh, things to cook with here. All right, now in our little bag of goodies, we've got uh, some paper towels that we'll need to clean up those squid. We've got a, got a pan, but we're not gonna need that for a minute. A little cutting board. Of course, we've got some Danish sea salt. We've got pepper. Some, uh, this, this is, we'll call this uh, cooking, it, it's not drinking whiskey, this is cooking whiskey. Just a uh, disclaimer, clarification there, all right? And some uh, minced garlic that I brought from home. And I just brought some grapeseed oil. You know, usually I use olive oil, but why not try something new, right? And a fillet knife. Of course, we've got our glove full of squid. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and dump this stuff out there we go that's our catch our bucket that we should have used all right so now the uh the way that this works is i like to just start right here uh by right in front of their eyes uh they have a little it's called uh like a beak inside there's literally like a little parrot beak so we're gonna cut um right kind of around the eyes imagine like a circular cut around the eyeballs Go in here, make sure you have a nice sharp knife. But now we've got this little beak inside here. So I like to just press the tentacles and then, oops, bump the camera there. Then this little part here comes out and there's actually a beak there. Let's see if we can take a peek at that. Oh, see that, it's like a little little parrot beak. Not sure if it can bite you. Maybe that's something we'll try one day is uh, get bit by a squid. Uh, now what we want to do is this head, uh, there, there's a, uh, what is this called? Guys, help me out in the comments. Like if you know what this thing's called, it's got like a little, like a backbone in here, right up by that tip there. So what I like to do is grab that with my fingernails. Oop, look at that. There's all the black ink. There we go. Then I pull this whole thing out. Look at that. It's like this plastic. It's almost like a freaking pen. And it's so full of ink that we literally could probably like, write with this right now. Look at that. Seriously, I could probably write my name right now if I really tried, but I'm hungry. We're going to cook instead. Nice. Inky guts for you. So now all I use is these little towels here. And they are dry and it's easier to pull that skin off with these towels. It's impossible to get that skin because it's super slimy. 
off with your hand. So I just, oh, it already happened here. I just kind of press against it, hold it tight, press a little, and then the skin will just pop. Just start pulling it off. I try and keep these little uh, little wings on the squid. They'll pop off sometimes, but uh, they're edible, so. But that is a cleaned out squid. So now we're just gonna do the same with uh, these other two, and I'll catch you there. All right, we've got all the squid uh, cleaned up. Now we're gonna go ahead and just chop it down into little squid rings and stuff. All right, so none of these squid were like gigantic. All right, the squid here around Seattle, they're called market squid, I believe. They don't get as big as like the giant squid and the Humboldt squid and stuff like that. Those are the, the really big ones that you'll see in the movies. Now, Humboldt squid, they do exist here. One day we'll catch one. It's very rare that they come into the sound. But from what I hear, they follow the sockeye runs in to eat the sockeye salmon. Think about that. All right, then we got two more little heads there. Okay, that's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up real quick and then let's start cooking. By the way, one thing I just wanted to mention real quick, these little like eye pieces right here, these make awesome, awesome fishing bait for uh, pretty much any type of saltwater fishing. Okay guys, look at this, boom! We got our outdoor kitchen set up. That way all of the steam and everything just goes outside. You don't want a whole bunch of humidity buildup inside your van because you'll get condensation on any of the metal surfaces. So uh, we're gonna cook outside. Plus we've got this awesome skyline. Look at that, there's Seattle right down there. I've never done anything like this before. Well, I've done catch and cooks, but not one like this. Uh, so we're going to cook up the squid now. It's going to be delicious. If you guys, by the way, think this is cool, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Destroy that little thing. Just freaking put a crack in that like button for me. Helps out with that YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with... Ooh, we got to get a little bit of fire going here. Let's get some fire going. Ooh, there we go. Fire, baby. So cooking a squid is a little bit quick and dirty, all right? You don't want to undercook them, but you don't want to overcook them. Overcooking happens probably after about three minutes in the pan. Uh, and then they get really rubbery, and we don't want to have that happen. So we're going to put a nice little amount of oil in there. All right, here goes the squid. Here goes nothing. Point of no return. Boom. It is now officially a catch and cook. Spraying a little bit. I'm getting oil on me. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna take a nice pinch of uh, of our sea salt. No, no, we got squid rings going down. Squid rings, as they're going everywhere. Maybe it's the the grapeseed oil here that's uh, just a little different than uh, the olive oil that I usually use. Not sure what's happening there, but we'll take. Uh, we're gonna turn that heat down a little bit. They were exploding on me, so I hope I'm not totally blocking the camera here. But we're throwing in a little bit of pepper. A lot of pepper, actually. I really like pepper. All right, now that these little guys are ready, we're going to get that pan nice and hot one last time. And then we're going to throw in our cooking whiskey. And then that real quick. Ooh. And that's, guys, what's called a flambe. <laughs> now, is that a catch and cook or what? <laughs> Oh, awesome. So burn off all the rest of that alcohol. And now you'll get this nice, um, it turns into kind of almost a thick, uh, oily sauce uh, with that squid. It's absolutely delicious. Gives it an amazing amount of flavor when you do this. This dish is ready. Guys, I can't believe it. I can't believe this. Just like I forgot the darn bucket forgot to put in the garlic. Better late than never, right? Usually, so the what, what you actually want to do is saute the garlic in the oil before you even add the squid. Now look at that. That is what I am talking about. I'm so starving. Have not eaten since lunch. Look what's behind us. <laughs> downtown Seattle. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna dig in now. This is uh, quite exciting. Yeah, we're gonna get a big uh, first bite. Mm. You know this is good. Mm. Man, 
Though you can't beat the view either. Well, except maybe a beautiful mountain lake or something like that. Like on that trout video, geez, cooking that in the woods, that was awesome. So one thing I said earlier in the video is that we're gonna announce a group fishing event. I know so many of you have been asking to go fishing together, which I think is totally cool. I wanna be able to go fishing with everyone. Um, the problem is I can only go fishing so often in a week and I'm usually filming my videos then. So I figured, why don't we just all get together at the same time, have a bunch of fun and do exactly this. Group squid fishing event. Uh, I'm gonna put this on the Facebook group and Instagram as well. So if you guys aren't already following me on uh, Facebook and Instagram, um, I'll put the, the names right here. It's always in the end of my video on the end screen. But uh, go ahead and check it out there. Just confirm the date on there. But right now I'm planning for November 15th. It's a Friday and I will be here. We're gonna meet up at Marination Mackay in Seattle. It's in West Seattle. There's a, that pier out there that we just fished on. We're gonna do some squid fishing together. The jigs that we used in this video, if you can buy something that looks super similar, uh, I think Outdoor Emporium, those guys can hook you up. Uh, they know what they're talking about. Watch out, don't go to like Dick's Sporting Goods and stuff. They don't have the right jigs and they don't know really what they're selling you. Um, so, so Outdoor Emporium or Sportco down in Fife, same company I believe, they'll have the right jigs for you. Um, you want green and pink light green and light pink are the best colors right now blue you might do okay as well uh, make sure that you get one smaller jig one bigger jig and uh and hopefully you know if it, come prepared try and bring jigs but worst case scenario if you totally forgot there's usually a guy here on friday selling them for like a couple of bucks or you know two to five dollars a piece or something depending on how many you buy uh, and those are usually the best jigs that you can get is, uh, from the guys down at the pier. So um, anyways, hope to see you guys there. It would be awesome if we can just get like 20 or 30 people together or more um, at the, the pier. And we'll just, it's usually going to be really crowded shoulder to shoulder. But you know what? It's a social event and uh, it'll be totally fun. Maybe we can do some catch and cooking out here too. I'll bring my van probably and probably well we can't all fit in here so we'll have to we'll have to set up a table out there and maybe we can just cook some out on the the pier so again november 15th double check on facebook double check on instagram uh before that date comes up but 5 p.m 5 p.m on november 15th is when i will be uh over here hanging out at marination mckay and out at the the pier so if you guys can't make it right away at five, don't worry. This will go late till at night at probably 11 p.m. or whenever the, the, the police kicks everyone out from the pier. Uh, you can stay as long as you want. Uh, if you get there early enough, Marination Mackay should be open as well. So you'll have an opportunity to have dinner and, uh, and, and you know, snacks or drinks or something like that there. Look at that. Mm. Seriously, guys, squid. So delicious. If you've never tried this, you have to give it a shot. All right, guys. I'm going to have the last bites of this. This was kind of a random video. thought it was fitting for Halloween. So, hope you enjoyed it. You know, let me know. Let me know if this was too weird for you guys. Rolling up in my van here. Fishing for squid and cooking it in downtown Seattle. I promise, I don't, I don't live here. All right, I do have a house. It's where I live. Not in my van. It's a fantasy. It'd be kind of cool. Let me know if you guys want to see more like full-time van life stuff. It'd be awesome. But I think I'd want to get a bigger van than like a, not a Sprinter van. I don't have enough money for that. Maybe a Ford Transit. High top. That'd be cool. So as always, if you haven't already, like the video before you're done. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and thought this was weird and you want to see more of it. You know, I do all sorts of other fishing too. And um, until next time, guys, fish on.